Hey guys, my name is Ty Hurd and today we are here to go over how to create a virtual tour with your 360 panos on the Kula platform. So it's Kula.io. I will provide a link down in the description below. So Kula is one of my favorite hosting providers. It's very, very intuitive. We're gonna do a quick tutorial on how to create your first tour in Kula and we're just gonna kind of make it simple. You'll be able to figure everything out once you get going and kind of just see how it works. And then secondly, we are going to go over some of new features, some new features that they've just released like in the last couple of days. And I don't think they've even like publicly announced these features. Um, and it's mostly to do with the transitions going from one 360 image to the next 360 image. And they have got some super cool transitions now. And those transitions are awesome. Um, you might be familiar with Google Street View where you click the arrow and it's like whoosh, and you go right to the next, the next image. And they have got transitions that are like pretty much identical to that and more. So you've got a lot of options on there. I think they have seven different transitions and all of them are new. So let's go ahead and jump into a screenshot right here. So here we are on Kula and uh, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to, you've already logged in, you've signed up for it here and they do have a free account. So go ahead and sign up and check them out. Uh, now we're going to go up here to create tour slash slash batch. Now we're going to go to select images. Now I have got these ready for this video right here. This is from a hotel I shot. It had like 33 panos, but I just picked five for now. Um, we're going to leave the front facade shot for a little bit later. We'll get into that though, but you can have a cover image, which is pretty cool. So we're going to go ahead and uh, let these upload. And while they're uploading, we'll just kind of fast forward through this. Okay. So we're back. So these are just about up, and it really didn't take that long here. Now we want to give this tour a name. We'll just call it McTester, and that's good. Now we're going to leave it unlisted for now uh, because I don't want the whole world to see this uh, partial tour. Now here are the new transition types right here. So this is a new section on Kula. And so we've got crossfade, walkthrough, um, which is like a crossfade zoom, radio fade, fly through, which is a radio fade and zoom, vertical wipe, clock wipe, dot effect, which is kind of cool too, or no transition. Um, and we'll show you what these transitions look like here. Now this automatic hotspot alignment is awesome okay so if you're facing one direction in one of your 360 images and you move and then you click to a hot spot the next image you want to be facing the same direction in that new image um, if you have your default view set to a different direction and you click the hot spot you don't want to be instantly brought into the next pano facing a different direction you want it to be like street view where you and you go into the next pano facing the correct direction so if you check that that will make sure that when you click to the next hotspot, no matter what your default view is set at, and I'll show you how to do that here in a second though, you actually face the correct direction in the next hotspot. So that is awesome. So select that. Uh, my favorite right now is the walkthrough crossfade plus zoom. So the crossfade, it just fades from one to the next, like whoosh, whoosh, uh, and then it zooms and it's very, very similar to what you see on Google uh, Street View. So we're gonna cl click that, select hotspot, or automatic hotspot alignment, and then click post. And here we go now. So this is gonna bring us in to your tour editor right here. Uh, but we will let this load and not da 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 da. Okay, so here it is right here. So um, descriptions. Now you can include a description, uh, downstairs front guest uh, room panel complete. I'm just gonna get rid of this. Uh, I don't need these. And then we can go and reorder these. So let's go ahead and actually reorder these so that they kind of make sense. So we want it to go from farthest away uh, to closest and then inside and then uh, the bedroom is gonna be the last one. So now these are in like a logical order right here. And anytime that you wanna decide if you wanna change your transition types, you can change them here. So that is just by clicking uh, right here, uh, edit, reorder. Uh, now really quickly, what we do wanna do is we wanna add a regular image, our cover image. And I love the cover images. The cover images act just like the panos as far as being able to add hotspots and other interactive elements. Uh, but we're gonna click facade small right here. You're gonna wanna click add to tour. We're gonna select McTester. Uh, click save right here. We can get rid of that. And then just click post it. Uh, now we do need to go to our tour. So go to my tours right there to go back to the tour to edit. And there's McTester. So now you'll see all the other panos 
show up. So if you upload and add that cover image, remember to click add to tour, add it to your tour, uh, but don't freak out going, where are all my other images? You just gotta go back to the tour to find them. So here we are. Um, now we're going to go and we're gonna click edit. Let's go ahead and add a hotspot. Um, we're gonna change this image. Now a feature that they've just added um, is the tour editor will remember the last element and how it was set, whether you had transparency set to 60%, the size of it, all of that. And so when you go to click add it again, it'll add the exact same thing. And that is really useful because most of the time you're gonna be adding like arrows to click from one panel to the next. Those are probably gonna be your most used hotspots. And so when you set, uh, let's say we like the opacity here, let's go ahead and set this to like 80%. So it's a little bit see-through right there. The next one is gonna have opacity at 80%. And now I know they just released that uh, like today. Uh, so it might be just a little bit buggy, but we're gonna go ahead and put an enter tour <clears throat> actions go to another post and then it's gonna say, well, which one? And we want it to go to the next panel, or I guess it's the first panel in this. We go back and you're gonna click save. So let's go to the next image right here. <clears throat> and we're just gonna go through and add a few hotspots. And what we just did is how you're gonna add hotspots uh, to move throughout all of your panos. This blue guy right here represents your default view. So we want it to default right facing the front door, okay? So if somebody just clicks on the thumbnail, it's going to go to that default view. Let's add a hotspot to move into the house. And there is that hotspot. And uh, we will make it just a little bit bigger right here. Bring the opacity down to 80%. And then uh, action, go to another post. And now this one, just gonna click the next one in series. Back to editor. Click save. That's how you add hotspots to move through. So we don't need to sit there and go through all of these. I will do that really quick and we can just fast forward through this. Okay, now let's come back really quick. We're done, we'll stop fast forwarding here. And right here we can rotate it. So we want it to kind of, you know, look like it makes sense. So right there, so you can rotate or right here and then here's your opacity and you can enter the numbers in or use the sliders. I'm going to show you the differences and what it means to have uh, the automatic orientation right here. So the, uh, the automatic hotspot alignment right here. So we've got automatic hotspot alignment on, but let's turn it off and I'm gonna show you guys something here. Nice. Now the default view from outside is facing in and that's gonna be weird. So we're gonna click it and now we're facing back in. And you're like, wait, what? That does not look right. But if we go to edit reorder and select automatic hotspot alignment, but now when we click this, we're not gonna turn around and face inside, that's all weird. We're facing outside and that makes perfect sense. I love that feature, that's such a useful feature and there's not a lot of tour providers that have that like that. Um, yeah, so that's great. Now, let's go ahead and uh, just uh, change and take a look at some of these different uh, fades. So this one is crossfade, we're just gonna click save right there and now crossfade. And there's your crossfade right there. So it just kind of fades from one to the other. Uh, let's go back and take a look at the walkthrough crossfade zoom. And you just see how quick all of this is. So you can make a change like that. Now here's the crossfade zoom. And I love that effect. That one is by far my favorite. And let's go back and try the radial fade. And we'll do the radial fade and you'll see a radial fade like that from the inside out, love it. And then we'll go look at the next one, the fly through radial fade. And you can fast forward through this, but I figured everybody might wanna see what the different transitions look like so you know what your options are. And so this is the radial fade plus the zoom. So it's the fly through. So this is my second favorite. And then we'll go back to edit reorder and the vertical wipe. And now these kind of remind me more of like um, movie effects, something you might see when you're editing video. Uh, so we'll go through and that's, uh, you know, this is very Star Wars-esque actually right there. They do that, that transition a lot in Star Wars. I don't know why I keep going to close. Uh, and yeah, that one's very Star Wars-esque. Uh, the clock wipe is going to be a clock wipe and you'll see it on the first transition here. That one's pretty cool. And go down to dot effect and this is the last one and click save. And you'll see how fast I'm able to change these, which is great. And there's the dot effect 
uh, right there. So that's pretty much that. Um, you guys should be able to figure it out from here. So there you go. You've created a tour. We'll get out of this in Kula and it was super simple. It only took a few minutes. The new transitions are awesome and that automatic alignment between the transitions is great. Um, so that's that. If you have questions, uh, let me know down in the comments section below. I will do my best to help. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and I will see you guys later. Thanks.